and I'm back. Welcome back to Talk Yarny to Me. My name is Zuri. I will be talking yarny with you. I was just here a few seconds ago showing you what I've been working on as I, while well, I've been MIA for the last two or three weeks. And um, that got a little long. It went to like 30 minutes. So I cut that off and I will now show you guys um, what I'm considering for my baby blankets that I have to make. I told you before, I have four friends pregnant right now. They're all due May, June, July area. So I got three to five months um, to make them blankets. And I, I, there's probably one more that will be pregnant before it's all said and done. Um, so there's that i'm going to show you guys that because i did kind of go through my stash and um i did i did go through my stash and pick some stuff out i, I have one more project that i need to pick some yarn out for but i haven't yet um and i bought some yarn which i know but honestly i think this this is a justified purchase i also was very proud of myself because yesterday I had my finger on the button getting ready to buy some more yarn. So I saw maybe it was Pamela Ann Creations put out a post for Lion Brand, not Lion Brand, Hirschner's that has, they have like, they're having a clearance sale like on their yarn packs. And I was just like, let me go look because you know, I love me, um, I love me a uh, cotton cotton mill end which they are on sale for like $14.99 but you know like at least once or twice a year they put them on sale for like $10-11 um so but and I have 30 of them I've used this is only this this one I'm I just showed you is only the second one I'm using and so that's 28 more of them at least that I have um but I went and looked and they had um baby cakes Karen baby cakes a three pack for like eight something and I was like, that's such a good price. Those things are like $12, right? And even like the ones I bought at Ollie uh, last year, like around a little more than a year ago, were um, $5. You know, that's that's a, the clearance to closeout store, you know? So like three for eight something, that's like two, you know, $2 and change each. It's, just, it's unheard of, right? And so I went through because obviously I have a lot of babies <laughs> that are coming and I was like I should just stock up because I actually really liked it I liked the way it worked up everything and I was like so I, I went and I started to put a bunch in my cart like three of one color three of another color and then I was like okay I think I think I bought like two three packs two or three three packs or I think I picked put in the cart two or three three packs and then you know I was getting ready to check out and I was like I do not need to do this I no I don't need it It'd be good to have it. It's a definite nice to have because it's good baby yarn. It's like, for one, it's a soft yarn. But, you know, baby yarns be threes, you know. So sometimes it takes a long time to work them up. Even though they're soft, it's totally worth it. Like, they just take forever to work up sometimes just because they're soft. They're small. They're thinner. But baby cakes are like a four at least. Maybe even a five. Pretty, but definitely a four. And um, and I have, so I was just like, ah, oh, I'll get them. And then I, I didn't get them. And I just closed my browser and walked away. Sadly. <laughs> but I did it. But, um, so yeah, I'm very proud of myself. But this purchase I made, I think this one was justified. Even that one would have been justified. But before I do that, I'm going to show you guys um, what I'm thinking about for my baby blanket projects. Okay. So first there's... I'll start with this one. So I know one of them is a boy. And I have this blue. Actually, just did I just buy this or did I have these? I don't remember. This is clear and sharp so. And it is Snuggly Wolves. I think I've had this a while. Snuggly Wuggly Dulce or Dus Acole. Oh, I think that's just the other languages. Snuggly Wuggly. For loops and threads, let's Snuggly Wuggly. Right? Um, it is, it was a clearance yarn. I bought it for $3 originally, $5.99. Um, and this is the color cobalt, which this is not a cobalt, but okay. Um, and it's, it's a three-way, it's a baby yarn. It's just like a three-way acrylic. 
Is it acrylic? I'm pretty sure it's gotta be acrylic. Yes. So it's this blue. I, I honestly would like to pair this with a yellow maybe, um, just to break it up. And I was like looking, actually was looking in my garage earlier because I'm like, I know I'm so sure I need a yellow baby yarn, but I couldn't find it. I think I have to move some stuff and get into one of the crates that's like way below. For that one, I think what I'm gonna do is a star baby blanket. I did one, I did like a five point star, I wanna say, which is actually my very first or like my second crochet project, my first good crochet project, definitely, um, that I did about a year ago for my friend's um, baby that was born. Actually, he just had his first birthday a couple weeks ago. And it worked out good. It took me a few tries to get it started, but then once I got into it, like I got it, I think that is a project that really was like, kind of got me into the flow of crochet. Um, but so that's like a five point star, but I've seen another one that has like more points, like a bunch of points. Um, that's, it's almost more like a sun, you know what I mean? Um, so I think I'm going to do that for that one. Um, but that one, because I know it's a boy, um, I'm safe to use blue. I do want to find another color. I also have, oh, did I, I didn't bring them out here. Did I? We'll see. Okay. We'll get to that. Wait, where is that? Oh, okay, I see it. So there's that. Second one is this. This I want to say I found on clearance at Joann's, but I don't see the price on it. So I don't know how much I pay, but it is Bernat for Fleece Finer, which I've never used before, but I like the way it feels. It's like a... I don't even know if this is considered a roving, if you would call this a roving. Like, I don't know if it's going to focus. Let me get my face out of there. I'm gonna focus. Yeah, kind of. See, it's not, it's not twisted. Maybe it's blown. I don't, I wouldn't call it a roving. I don't know. But it's, it's tubular. It's definitely a tubular yarn. Um, it's very, very soft. I love the way it feels. Um, this is, actually, no, I must've got this at Michael's. Actually, because it has a little, not Michael, that's the Michael sticker. That's, if you ever see this, let me, let me let it focus, let it focus. It says limited time only. I don't know why it won't focus, but um, it says limited time only. If you ever see that, just know it's going to go on clearance and soon. <laughs> like if you don't want to spend whatever money it is. Um, this one's actually polyester. So this is 100% polyester made in China. Very soft. I've never used it before, but I like the way it feels. And for this one, as soon as I saw um, a few weeks ago, Crystal at Bag of Day, she released a pattern for a dragonfly stitch, dragonfly fillet crochet stitch. Um, I think she did it up in a baby blanket, but you can use it for other things. I think she just released like this week the same stitch in a shawl. And so it's just a fillet, but like it makes the shape of a dragonfly with the spacers. Um, so that's, I, as soon as I saw that, I, I wanted to do it in this yarn because I had already bought this yarn. So hopefully the stitch definition it's just the slightest bit fuzzy. Like, I think still the stiff definition will be good enough that you'll be able to see the dragonfly pattern. I think it's a pretty distinct pattern. So that's what that's gonna be. I haven't decided which, who that will go to. I don't know where it's gonna go to. That will go to, who is pregnant again? Uh, uh, I forget who my third one is. Who is my third one? Oh my gosh. Who is my third? Who is my other one? They're out there somewhere. Oh, okay, wait. No, I'm still missing one. I have no idea. It's gonna have to come to me. <laughs> <laughs> no idea. I mean, it's because it's late. It's almost like it's that thick on the other side. Okay, so there's that. Sorry for the pimples. Okay. So there's that one. Number three. I feel like I want this one to go to um, 
my friends who I'm making the filet blanket for, I think this one will be for them. So this is cotton. This is um, Hansi Essential Cotton. Um, and it's in this, what is this color? Desert, it's in the color desert. So, well, that's not a good example, hold on. Cause you can't really see the, in front of me, you can see the colors a little better. Okay, you can see them a little better here. So it's mainly like this off-white and then it's got these little um, blocks or stripes or whatever of like this very terracotta deserty color. I thought there was a, I don't know why I could have sworn there was another color in here, but I guess not. Um, but it's cotton, but it's a four-way cotton, which is nice. No, it's, it's three. That looks like a, it's, yeah, I guess it's a three. Slightly thicker three, but not really. I guess not. The three-way cotton, still not bad. So it'll be, um, it'll be like cool, you know? Which is good because these are all like spring summer babies. So they're never gonna really need like I'm gonna do bigger blankets that they can like use later for car seats and crib blankets and stuff like that. But you know, when they're little babies, they actually won't even need them. This one I'm not sure yet what um what um actual blanket I'm gonna do for with, with this one though. Um I don't know yet. I'm still thinking. I was thinking maybe do that same which way fillet pattern that I'm doing the their blanket in so it kind of matches or I might even be like it wouldn't even be a like I'm also even like um considering instead of using this actually using skinny cakes because that's what I'm using for the the um gray fillet blanket is skinny cakes and either using like that very same skinny cake and doing a um just a little small baby version of it or using like a, one of like a different color one i don't know i don't know if i want to do that though i haven't decided yet but i would like to i definitely would like to do i don't know what i'm gonna do with this one yet but I'm, i think i'm gonna use this i think i'm gonna use this so they don't know what they're having and they're not gonna find out so it has to be gender neutral um and so I think this is like a really, I think this is a good neutral, neutral color for that. And it's just going to be really soft. I think it's going to be like really soft. Like it's going to make a really nice fabric. I, I really feel like. Um, I've got four of these, but it should be enough. And I'll just use it up. I'm going to just go with this one till. Uh, go with this one till I run out. So whatever size, that's how big they're. Oh, baby's blanket. Baby. Like that. And then number four. I'm not one hundred percent on this, but right now I have my ideas to use these. This is from these that I got from Michaels. Um, a few weeks ago. Um, this is Patton's Behalf Sport. Peyton's Patton's. It's very soft. What is this? This is so soft. 70% acrylic, 30% nylon. Very, very, very soft baby yarn. Um, on clearance, I guess they're getting rid of this because this they were all clearanced out at Michael's. This one and then like there was, I think, I think it's the Loops and Threads equivalent to this was also all clearanced out. Um, but I, I grabbed a bunch. I can have at least six of these. I got um, off whites. I got whites. I got a blue, like a light blue, a baby, baby bluish, kind of similar to this blue, but even like kind of lighter. And then I got like a baby pink. So I got like probably three or more, three or four of like all those other ones. But I got like six of these. I don't know why. I think this just. I cleared, I cleaned out. I think this, they only had six of these. And so I just got all of them. Whereas the rest of them had more. And so I just got three of each. So I think I'm gonna go with this. This is called Delicate Green. And it is, well, let me try to 
fluff my face a little. So it is, it looks a little blue in the camera, but it is definitely like a very light minty kind of green. Um, so I think this is good for also a gender neutral pattern. Um, and then, like I said, I have several other colors of this if I want. I think I will end up pairing it with something else, like either the white or the off-white. For this one, I had an idea and I forgot what it was for what I want to do with this one. I should write it down. Hopefully I'll remember or come up with something good, but what was it? Maybe it was another solid granny. Oh, what was it? I have no clue, honestly. But hopefully I'll remember. Or something else will come to me. But I think this is just where I'm going to start. I think I'm going to use this. I'm pretty sure I'm going to pair it with one of the other colors I have in there. Um, and so there's that. So those are, at least as of right now, that's where my four baby blankets stand have not started any of them yet obviously i do need to i'm trying to finish the well okay so actually i need to finish this one first this, this is uh my mom's birthday present so this really needs to be finished in a week i don't think it will be and now like remember i said last i said like a couple weeks ago i was supposed to go on like a business trip the week of my mom's birthday um that I got postponed actually to the week of my son's birthday <laughs> but I was hoping that would buy me a few more days and I could just like hole up in a hotel when I'm not working and just work on it but um no no such luck so yeah so I got I'm trying to finish that one that at least first so that's my main priority when I'm knitting or crocheting and then everything else is after that um so once I get at least that out the way and maybe this one too the fillet blanket um then I'll start really working on those baby blankets. I think I'm gonna start with the, the um, dragonfly one first. And then I'll we'll go from there. Okay, anyway. On to what I bought. So I was watching YouTube the other day, as one does, and I uh, watched I watched Crystal. And she, I guess, I don't, she was talking about some Mary Maxim purchase she made. And she was, she mentioned that Karen Simply Soft, Simply Soft, they have discontinued colors on there for cheap. Which I was like, okay, you know, like, I like Simply Soft. It's not anything I ever, like, have to buy for the rest of my life. Like, if I never use it again, I will be fine, but it, I do like it. Um, but she pulled out my absolute favorite color of simply soft which is like one of the, my favorite yarn colors i've ever come across and so i knew i had to get stock up on because i already knew it was discontinued um i already knew it was discontinued and i bought some i'm over here trying to rip this thing i have scissors right here i bought some on amazon um, because I do have a project that I'm using it for. I haven't used, I haven't touched that project in a while. It's like in my UFO pile, but it is a project that I want to get back to. I actually showed it to you guys. It's the blanket I wanted to make with the different shades of blues and yellows in the, um, with the sunburst granny squares. So I haven't worked on that in quite a while, but it's a project that I have no intention of abandoning. And the color that mm, the color that I that really even inspired me to do that project because I love this color so much is this one. Very blue. This is just such a beautiful shade of blue. I remember when I was making that blanket there, behind you, I, I can see it like right here is the stripe that I got to that came out in that berry blue. And as soon as I started working up, I was like, this is gorgeous. I want my whole blanket in this color. And so, 
I went to the store to get some more and it was nowhere to be found. So I was like, oh man, it's discontinued. So I bought some on Amazon for way too much. I don't remember. I don't, I didn't pay attention for it, but I bought some on Amazon for that project. And, um, and then I bought some more. How many did I buy? Six at least. I bought six of them. Um, and then... Oh, this is the right one. And then they also had like some other colors that I'm pretty sure were in that blanket project. So I'm not sure if this is the right yellow. I stocked up, I got like stocked up on this yellow as well. So I'm not sure if this is the yellow in my project. This is lemonade, but I feel like the yellow in my project is called sunshine. I could be wrong though, but I'll check it. But it's like the yellow. If anything, like, because I figure if nothing else, like, I can do a fresh project with, like, a, a fresh blanket project or anything with, like, these two together. I think that'll be really pretty. So I got this one. Like, it's very close. Because I don't think I have, I think I definitely, I don't have enough of most of the colors that I was doing those squares in, I don't think I have enough for a blanket. Like, I know I have more, I have more of this one, I know. And I think I have more of the yellow that I was using. But then there's like another, there's a purple. I think there's two different purples. There's like a lavender, and then there's a, like a deep purple. And I've lost like the ball bands to most of those already, so I can't be 100% sure what they are. Um, but it is what it is. So then, so yeah, that's why I also got this purple here. Which I don't know that this is the right one. But I have to go look. So it was here. I guess, how many of these did I get? I'm sorry for all the crackling. So there's this one, which is called grape i feel like that sounds so familiar like i feel like this is right because i think there was like three shades of purple i don't remember so i think this is actually wonderful so i think we might be okay if not i mean we just will we might just continue that same project like with the colors not exactly matching and just kind of because the idea was just for it to be, um, it just reminds me of like springtime where I live because in April, in April here in Atlanta, like the wisteria, which is like this purple vine, like it just blooms everywhere. It's like it, it's on all the trees, it's everywhere. And so our whole city is just like bathed in this like kind of lavender purple for like a couple of weeks. And so... There's that, and then um, my, um, in like f right around February, I can see like mine are actually starting to grow up. The hyacinths um, start to bloom right around, or they start to come out right around now, and in a couple weeks they'll be blooming, and they're just like my favorite flower, one of my favorite flowers. Well, they're when I bought my house, I bought, actually, t is it midnight? It's about to be midnight in a couple minutes. So... February 1st, which it's about to be in like four minutes, three, four minutes, is the anniversary of the day I bought my house six years ago. And I bought my house, and then a few weeks after, like right after I bought my house, these flowers bloomed, these beautiful flowers. I didn't know they were there because I closed on my house. Like I found my house in the winter in December, closed on it in February. So I didn't know what all... Oh, sorry, my mom is like, her TV's really loud. And it keeps scaring me. <laughs> um, like a couple of weeks after I moved into my house, um, these beautiful blue flowers bloomed like right outside my door. There's like a little patch of them right outside my door. And I never knew what they were for a few years. And I finally learned what they were. And I bought some more. Well, okay, so there's that. There are these beautiful blue flowers and they smell so good. And they're, they're hyacinths. And then I like walked through my neighborhood and like right around the time those bloom, like there's also these like these yellow flowers um, 
and some of them were white popped up and like every yard in the neighborhood had them except for mine I felt some type of way about it and I didn't know what they were at first and then I think like actually my old high school librarian who I'm friends with on Facebook posted a picture of some of them and I was like what are those those are all over my neighborhood and they were like, he was like they're daffodils I was like oh okay and I don't I, I had no daffodils in my yard and I was so mad because they're so pretty and every other house in this neighborhood has at, least, has at least like one little patch of daffodils that comes up every year so like two or three years ago they I was at like a Home Depot or Kroger or something and they had like this little mixed batch of spring flowers it had hyacinths like exact hyacinths and that's my daffodils and tulips um and so I planted them on my walkway like along my driveway but my blanket that I'm making is like purple blue and yellow and it just reminds me of like the hyacinths the daffodils and the wisteria that pop up around my city like all through the spring and it's just like my favorite time um when all these flowers come up it's just like it's my absolute favorite time it's when atlanta is it's most beautiful um so it's kind of like my spring in atlanta blanket that i'm trying to make um so anyway that's why i bought those to kind of stock up on those even though i'm not sure all the colors match exactly we will make it work um so that's yeah that's what i want to show you guys i i broke this video up into two so i talked to you um in my last video about what i've been working on lately and so now this is that's these are like next steps um uh, and yeah that'll be it um anyway happy february it's february now right now happy february we made it through i saw this my friends posted this thing that says like as usual January has been one long year or something like that. And it's been like that probably like since 2020, right? The year starts and then January has been like just tough every year for the last three or four years. But for me, January is actually really special because in 2021, middle of lockdown. So January is when, one, when I went with my husband, 2021, January, that's this guy here. Um, technically we met online so actually he he um matched me or whatever or sent me a message like i want to this is a january 1st or december 31st but i didn't respond for a couple days because i remember him like popping up a couple times <laughs> in my matches or in my whatever your thing that it shows you your, your people <laughs> and i remember like not being like he hit, he ticked all the boxes, but still, still like, I don't know. But I didn't want to like swipe off of him. So I would just close the app when he popped up just because so, I couldn't make a decision. And then finally I matched. I was like, oh, why not? And then a couple of days later, I think he matched me back or it might've been the same. Maybe, maybe he had already swiped on me. I don't remember. But then he messaged me and then I waited like a day or two, maybe the next day and I messaged him back. So January... 2021 is when I met my husband or like when we first started chit-chatting um and then our first date was January 16th um and then it's also so January the probably like right a few days before that January the probably let's just say 10th it was probably before that but um oh no it was earlier early January like first or second week was when I took like, so this day, I used to work overnights for a company. And um, I would, st I used to study, I'd either like watch, after I watched like everything that's possible to watch on Hulu and Amazon, I would, I was, I finally like, I started studying for my, uh, a certification for my, my job. And I took the exam let's say the 4th, I don't remember if that's the actual date, but let's say January 4th, right? And then the, like right before that, probably actually a couple of days before that, I had got a call um, from a recruiter about um, a job. Because I kind of been ready, I've been looking to move from my job, I wasn't happy there. I actually had interviewed with this company that was just like, it was my dream job. And then this was like late in the year 2020 and then or early, yeah, late 2020, early 2021, I was in the interview process process. It was going great. I remember I, I did like a second interview. Like I had an interview with like three or four people. Like one of the people I interviewed with, he was like, I answered a question and he was like, I have no follow-ups. You did, that was a perfect answer. 
um, and it's like a technical interview. So I was like, it was just was going great. And then COVID happened and I, um, this job required travel. You would, you traveled every other week, um, to the client locations to like, um, kind of onboard this project product for them. And so obviously there that's that was it fell through like I was in the last stages and then they were like you're at the top of our list but we just they have to close the position because you know we can't hire a traveling position right now and so I was like for the rest of that year yeah I was like actually yeah it was early 2020 actually so for the rest of that year every few months I would just kind of email the HR lady and just like hey how's it going like just to keep myself top of mind keep me like top of mind for her and she's like yeah as soon as we as soon as we reopen I you know I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna um we'll be in touch etc and I was like kind of really banking on that the whole year and it was like more money than I've ever made etc and um I kind of got to the point where I was like okay I gotta start looking at other things too so I started doing some other interviews and like that first week of January, I right at the same time I took the, I took the certification exam, I passed it. And then like that same week I had like an interview, I got called and I had an interview with my, with two interviews, like actually the same day or like one day apart. So I interviewed first um, with this company, actually my company um, that I'm with now. And it went really well, <laughs> like it went really well. And um and they called me back that afternoon and they were like hey the the, the actual manager because i interviewed with two of the engineers that i had in the, they were like the manager wants to talk to you it was like the same day and i was like tired because i still had worked overnight and stuff like that and i had to get back up wake back up and get on the call he offered me a job on the spot and i was like i was like well actually i have another interview you know can i get back to you and he's like well there's another guy that's like waiting to hear you know and it's kind of like Probably not even that true, but I still was like, okay, I'll take the job. So I took the job and then I interviewed for the, the I still did the other interview, but I'm so glad that I took the job because like the guy got on, he was like 20 minutes late calling me and he didn't seem that interested <laughs> in asking me anything. And it's just like, you know, and I wasn't, you know, that pressed about it because I knew I had this great job lined up, um, like paying more, this one, this job paid more than the one that I was waiting a whole year for would have paid like by a lot and just more than I ever in my life imagined making um so I got offered that job first week of January and then I started it I started it like the week after I met my husband so let's say I met him on the 16th like I went on our first date so I remember going on our first date I had worked overnight <laughs> and um and we were meet, gonna meet for lunch. So I just worked overnight on Friday. I, I used to get off at nine in the morning when I worked like on Saturday mornings. And I just went straight to bed for a couple hours. I got up and then we went to meet in um in Atlanta where we went to meet. And the restaurant we chose, which was a sushi place, we didn't look at the weekend hours. Um, he had suggested it. And so he didn't, you know, neither of us looked at the weekend hours, but they opened like an hour and a half later on the weekends than when we were meeting. Um, and I was like, you know, there was a bunch of other places around, but they all kind of opened a little later too. So we were like, you know, so I was like, you know, I didn't really mind because I didn't look either. And he was like, he thought he was like, oh, he blew it all in. And I was like, I was like, no, it's fine. It's fine. It's like, but I was like, but I haven't eaten today. So I do need to get something soon. Now that's exactly how I said it. Probably in the same tone because I was really tired. I'm really tired now. Um, so um he the way he tells it he was like oh she yelled he i don't know if this is how he heard it because he was so nervous or whatever but he was like oh she was so nervous she yelled at me because she was hungry and, I, she, and all this and, and um so we went in and ate and uh we did find a place like right around the corner from our original spot we went and ate and the rest is history and then like so that was like my last weekend working i think i had like one more work week so, and then I left and then I started my job the following Monday, my current job. So, so my point being that January is like, yeah, when I met my husband, when I started my job now, which is 100% my dream job, um, just the best environment I've ever been in, um, despite not sleeping for 48 hours at some points. Um, and then something else, there's one other like big January thing 
that like makes it really special for me. I don't remember what it was. I started this channel in January, so that's something. <sighs> there's something else though. I feel like there's one more that I can't remember. But for a lot of people, and it is like every year, like there's just always so much bad news in January. It's just always something that's or just weird, crazy things happening, all that stuff. But um for for me, like January is super special. And then yeah, I close out my house February 1st, so um that's also really awesome so anyway how i got on that topic oh because i said happy february welcome to february so january is over if it is a hard one that's for you guys it is over we have survived it um welcome to february um thank you guys for listening thank you for watching as always thank you for subscribing um and just for all your support and love throughout this last year so I will talk to you guys when I talk to you. Hopefully sooner rather than later. Hopefully I will things will calm down at work and I will have time and energy to come back on here. Um not like waiting two, three weeks. But uh, yeah. If not, you know, know that I'm thinking of you. I'm always like, you know, thinking about like when I'm making and working on stuff, like how I'm gonna present it to you guys or or whatever. So um you're not forgotten and you are appreciated. You guys have a great rest of your day. Bye.